Hi there folks, it's Mish here. We are going beach metal detecting today with the Days 2 metal detector. I can't wait to get out there, so without any further ado, let's grab the gear and let's go hunting. How's it going today folks? Hope you're all doing well. I haven't even powered the detector on. I've literally just stood on the beach. I've been here all of about two minutes. It is low tide right now. So the plan is I'm going to start back at the wet sand, maybe a little bit of rock hunting. We'll move our way up as the water goes up. There's a few other things I'm going to check out, a few low spots on the beach. Might be able to see one up in the corner here. We'll save those for a little bit later. And uh, this is also the first time I'm going to test out a new headset. So this is not an official headset by any means. This part's official. So this is the Deus 2 puck that actually comes with this detector. And when you get it in the box, it comes on a, a tiny little set of, uh, well, they're not earphones, I guess. They're back phones, I think they're called. Anyway, I find them a little bit uncomfortable. That's just me personally. I've got some ear piercings they clash with. Anyway, long story. I've bought this aftermarket headset and someone's kind of cleverly 3D printed this little puck holder. This is all hooked up to the headset so I can hear the sound in here nice and clearly, hopefully. I'm gonna give it a test today, see what it's like. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's go find some targets, shall we? Got my first treasure and I haven't even made it to where I wanna start swinging. Nice little piece of olive green sea glass. Might be a little bit hard for you guys to see in the light. Hopefully that gives you an idea. There will be a little bit of sea glass around here. I'm not specifically hunting for it today, but if I find some cool pieces, they'll come with me. So this is the sort of scenery I'm starting in until the tide rolls in over the top. I reckon I've got maybe half an hour to an hour at most. First signal. And I'm not overly convinced, but it's kind of mid to high 80s. I have found old pennies in this sort of terrain in this area. So it might be that. Could just be our first sinker of the day. But let's find out. Well, you know what, guys? I've got the target in my hand and I can already see the rim. That's better than a sinker. Probably better than a toasted penny too. Because we can use this one. I've got two bucks. I never get two dollars as my first target <laughs> so we'll call that a good omen for the day see what else we can get actually off to a, a nice positive start second target was an unmissable 60 61 really really loud and clear signal and it's just 10 cents but so far no sinkers i'm impressed maybe i'll be here for a little bit longer i thought Still in the same spot, I just stood up. No wonder it was a thumping signal. Because there's still something down there. Now that doesn't sound coin-like. Sort of 47, 48. I don't know. Our five cent pieces ring up about a 51, 52. Which would be a 10 in Equinox speak. So what's this going to be? Like an 8 or 9? Thereabouts. It's small, whatever it is, so we'll, we'll find out. If you don't like people digging in the rocks without gloves, then maybe don't look for the next minute. Oop. That might be a five cent, actually. It most certainly is. Oop. It's not the only thing there. Well, it's going to be one of those mornings. Let me put that five cent away. Oh, shush. Uh, yes, so I might have forgotten my gloves. So we're just going to run the gauntlet and see what happens. Ah, look at that. Another five cent. Put that one away too. Sorry about the beeping. Moment of truth, is there anything else? Maybe. Yes, down in here. Well, I wonder whether the sands have shifted and maybe these are rocks that I haven't seen before well, 
I didn't think there'd been much movement, but maybe there has. All right, that one is not a prawn. That is the old base of a 22 caliber bullet. And I think we've exhausted that spot. But I just get that funny feeling we're not going to have to go far for the next targets. Okay, maybe it's one of those days where I could just keep the camera running. <laughs> That's where we've been for the past five minutes. There is another signal here, which I think would be a five cent piece again. Maybe it's a bit further down than I thought. I'm just shuffling big rocks. Just seeing if I can get a signal with the pin pointer. Yep, another five cent. Is that it? Goodness me, I should have brought knee pads. <laughs> Gonna spend a lot of time kneeling today. So I've got a faint niffy target here, right? Well, it's a bit louder now that I've moved a couple of rocks. There were another few rocks on top of here. So that one's kind of a jumpy 83, 84, but in moving those rocks, I put the detector down here and it went bang, 87, 88. Please find out what I am. So let's do that. And then we'll go back for that other one. So I think, okay, <laughs> that's our first sinker of the day. But still, we didn't really expend any effort getting that one, so we'll take it. Let's go back to what's potentially the second sinker of the day. And hopefully, it's going to be just as easy to extract. Ooh, I think I see, is that the base of a... Oh, no, it's actually a button. What does it say? East, East Co, I think. East Coast. Yeah, cool. There might be other stuff. I'll show you if there's anything else there. Otherwise, you know the drill. Let's move on. Didn't film the dig. It's more of the same, guys. Trying not to disturb couple of nearby crabs. There's a little green one there. Not sure if you can see him. And I think I've got my first one cent. Yes, I do. <laughs> it was a real wacky sort of signal. You can see it's a little bit corroded. Wow. Probably the most coins I've ever gotten out of this little patch. I have found a couple of cool things here before. Um, before I started filming for you guys, I found a really old 1950s uh, silver charm bracelet. It was almost completely eroded away. It was absolutely paper thin. But it's probably one of my coolest finds from this type of spot. Sometimes the rocks protect them. Sometimes the finds are completely worn away. You never quite know what you're going to get in this kind of area. And that's half the fun of doing it. Now this one's interesting. I might not even be able to get a number while I'm on the screen. I can hear the tiniest whisper. And I've only seen one number come up, and that was 97. Oh, that's a 57. That's not so good. Anyhow, high-pitched little blip. Ah, oh, look, I'm just going to excavate a bit, little bit, just in the hope that it might be a small silver or something. We'll have a look. And here was a rusty nail about five inch down. <laughs> Still, it was worth a shot. They could have been a silver. Hopefully it's a silver next time. I think this one's a five cent. Can you see it? Bring up about a 50. Yep, that's a five cent. <laughs> Always good. And I've said this before, but if you see something like this, so a narrow strip of small rocks, always, always check these crevices. Coins just seem to trap here. Like obviously they've come in from the shore They've gone out towards the ocean and they've just gotten stuck. So I find lots of things in this sort of environment. Anyway, won't give away all my secrets, but that's five cents. I thought I might have gotten another signal next to it. I did. Yeah, just a sinker. <laughs> but again, small target. About coin size, about ring weight. 
all trapped in these narrow crevices. See what else we get. All right, what's this thing here, guys? Is this a sinker? Is it a padlock? I don't know. I'm going to guess a padlock. Like that to me looks like a brass loop. Might have to give that one a clean up, I reckon. Sit it in some acid or something and see if it's got an interesting design because it kind of looks cool. It's very square at the bottom. I don't know. It could just be junk. I'm curious about that one. It gave a thumping signal. Wasn't going to miss it. <laughs> I think I found where all the sinkers are. And there's other signals I can't see, but what I could see was under my coil. And, um, yep, don't even need to dig for these guys. But wait, there's more. <laughs> and I wouldn't mind betting there's probably still going to be signals. Oh, maybe not there. But yeah, just about guarantee that will be more lead. So I'm a little bit further out towards the ocean. So it's more likely to be things that fishermen have cast. Oh well, we'll see. If it's something cool, you'll see it too. Well, it actually wasn't a sinker. It wasn't anything amazing. It's something that's been there a very long time. Yeah, copper maybe? Yeah, hard to tell at the moment. Anywho, who knows what that was off. But, could be something cool here too, right? I think I might have my first mystery coin of the day, guys. Really loud 6566. So I was expecting well, no, it's ringing up a little bit higher than a 10 cent piece, but anyway, something around that kind of range. And I've pulled up this, and I have a feeling that this is actually a silver coin. It's ringing up higher than a 5 cent piece, so it's not that, and it's not copper. I reckon, let me just bring this up to my eyes, I think I actually know what this is. Uh, yep, I'd be, yes. I do know what this is. This is silver and this is a little wheat threepence. So it'll probably be, what's that, 66. I'm still comparing it to Equinox figures in my head, guys. I reckon this will be a post World War II, 50% silver threepence. Pretty sure I can see the little wheat sheaves. I know you guys won't be able to, but I'll pop a nice clear picture of what it would have looked like once upon a time. And who knows, maybe even I'll get a year off that. If I can see a bit of that reverse design, there is a chance of a year. Ah, cool. That was right out in the open. I had, in fact, let me just reassemble this. Basically looked like that. And I just got a signal here and all I had to do was move that, fan the crevice, and it was sitting right there. That's crazy. Okay, cool. I'm motivated. See if we can find one that's yeah, a little bit better, Nick. All right, last couple of rock pulls before the tide takes over. And got a really loud noise in this area. There is another target trapped under this rock. I will see if I can get it out. You can probably see my other one though, and it was originally hidden. But I've gotten myself another dollar. Oh boy, is that one corroded. Hopefully I can tumble that one up enough to use it and uh, hopefully we can get that thing out too. Well, I haven't even seen what it is I've flicked out, but it is over here. Let's see if we can... Oh, cool, it is another coin. Oh, but it might not be the only thing. Oh, and there's multiple things in my hand too. So we've got $2, that's awesome. We've got some sinkers. Yeah, we'll take those. Nothing else in my hand. What else we got? Something a little. Sorry, a bit hard to film, but it's in my hand as well. Whatever it is, it's tiny. Can you see anything? Oh, it's. No. Oh, there it is. 
Oh, the teeny tiny sinker. Okay. I think I've exhausted that now. That was pretty cool. So yeah, all I did was I grabbed my groundhog tool and basically swept out the contents underneath the rock. Really handy little tool. If you can get a hold of one of these. I'll pop a link in the description. I've forgotten to mention up till this point that I have actually turned on that big number display update. So Deus 2 users might know that there's recently been a software update that when you sweep over a target it will show the number and fill the whole screen. Uh, it kind of turns off by default on all the, the main modes but you can, I think, save it on your custom modes. Anyway, I'm running the stock standard beach mode. I've turned on the big number display for you. I don't know if that's easier or harder for you guys to see. But that's an 8788 there, so I'm kind of hoping that's a goldie. And then over here somewhere, we've got a very, very loud 7273. So maybe a 20-cent piece, maybe a sinker. Have a guess. We'll dig them both up. Oh, I might actually have issue getting the... 87, 88, because I can't seem to get a pinpoint signal on it. So whether it's a coin that's really wedged down in the rocks, it's a thumping signal. And it's right about there. But, hmm, we'll see. <laughs> Well, I found it in the end. I initially thought it was trapped in this crevice. It was actually underneath. And whatever it is, I've managed to free it. Oh, it's a coin. Not the sort of coin I thought. I thought it was a goldie. Darn, just a one cent piece. I was hoping it might even be some silver. That's okay. Still got to find out what the other one is. Looks like the other one might be a coin as well. I did feel it. There it is. As suspected. 20 cents. Looks like an older one. And it is a 1982. Eh, not as old as I thought. Still could have been there a while. Nice. Okay, cool. Is this a sinker? I don't know. This is made of lead. And it says two and a half on each side. I'm guessing like two and a half ounces maybe i don't know and it says replex r-e-p-l-e-x it looks old i have no idea what it's off maybe a net or something i don't know it was definitely attached to something any ideas guys let me know i may have already put the answer in the description but i'm not entirely sure let's get you a bit of a surf report Oh. Now isn't that a nice sight? Water's coming in now. I haven't gone too much longer in this area. You can see it's about level with the rocks in the distance. And they're not much lower than the rocks here. And my beloved rock pools are now underwater. <laughs> but I've got a signal here and I can actually see what I was hitting on. It was a mid 80s and sweet that was two dollars if i'm cheeky i'll probably be able to tumble that enough to spend i don't think a coin machine will take it but a cashier might if i'm lucky <laughs> just in a tiny little crevice and you can see i'm right on the sand line again so almost at the point of doing some sand hunting now folks To the dry sand now. 
tide is starting to turn, so I'm not sure how long I'm going to get up here. Oof, that is one toasted whatever it used to be. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what that coin used to be, but maybe a two cent at either rate. She's absolute toast. Look how thin that is. <laughs> All right, it's a bit of a quiet signal at this point, but it's an 8788, and it's a distance from the water, and a fair degree uphill too. Might be a little bit hard to see the angle on camera, but I am on actually quite a steep sort of angle, making it a little difficult to do. Oh, there we go. 87, 88 still. Whatever it is, it's right there. And it's a dollar. It's another corroded dollar. Oh boy. I'm gonna have some I'm gonna have my work cut out for me trying to save these, I think. Cool. Well, my dollar was out of here, and I've dug another big deep pit, <laughs> nine inch coil for scale, probably 12 or 13 inch down, and I've pulled out this. Now, I think this might be a half penny, it rang up mid 80s. I'm gonna have to give it a clean, but I reckon I saw the crown of George V. So, it could be an older Commonwealth half penny. Let's run to the water. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Yes, I was a little bit away from the water, and I'm about to get hit by a wave. Bang. Uh, that's probably still not going to help, guys. Um, I reckon that's definitely a Commonwealth half penny. Once I find out, you'll know. That's cool as. Let's pop it in the bag. Let's uh, get our scoop where anyone else does. See if we can find any other deep treasures. Sort of downhill from my last few targets, and this is another really faint signal. And 93, I did see a 92 as well. I'm gonna say it's around there. <laughs> Bit of guesswork involved. This is why I have a large scoop. <laughs> moved a rock out of the way I found the target it is a copper coin and that is most certainly going to be a half penny and probably equally toasted I am not going to scrub this because this sand I don't know how well you can see on camera it is extremely coarse so if you think like coarse grit sandpaper yeah it's pretty nasty to the old coins Hopefully I can salvage some detail. Have a look in the description there. Nice. So how deep is that? Uh, yeah, okay. I've not really got a reliable measure here. Probably another three, four inch on my tool here. So if that gives you an idea about yay deep, that's impressive. I'm just running, today I'm running the stock standard beach mode and uh, reactivity i think it, yeah i've got it set to one at the moment so i'm doing a, a fairly slow swing but it is a broad swing i'd bump that down to zero if i was just doing really minute movements but because i'm doing a bigger swing i've set it to one and if i'm getting coins at that depth i don't think i need to change anything excellent well then this was a 90 and i've dug it up Sorry, I didn't dig it on camera, but my GoPro wasn't behaving. Um, I found what I think is a really flippin' old silver coin. I really can't make out the detail, unfortunately. So it's either a, a more modern Australian silver coin that's just had a hard life, or maybe it does have some age to it. I reckon this side is the side with the monarch. Just getting a sort of outline that would suggest... There's a head on that side. It's going to be uh, quite the effort to identify, I think. 
but hopefully I can get some even just a tiny part of the design or a couple of letters or something that's most certainly silver most certainly been there a very long time and um, okay depth wise let's have a look nine inch coil yeah, it's probably 11 inches down and it was an unmissable signal I am very happy with this detector friends very happy indeed okay <laughs> this hunt got real interesting all of a sudden didn't it oh my gosh you guys oh my gosh that's about all I can say the water is advancing on me rather quickly so I've got to stop filming the before digs this was a really whisper faint high pitched signal didn't even get a number till I took a couple of scoops and it was the mid 80s can you see that there's a coin in my hand and can you see how suspiciously silver this looks sorry for raising my voice guys but I'm the <laughs> I'm stunned I am absolutely stunned I've spent so much time today down in the water and who would have thought that all the silvers would just be up on the sand for me what this is quite clearly a thrippence going by the size it's a pretty unmistakable size coin it's a weak thrippence and uh the year will be on the end here two ticks i'm just gonna have a quick look uh, i can't make that one out at the moment I can see the 19, but I can't see the crucial part on the end. What? Now, let's give you an idea of depth here. Make sure I don't drop the coin in there. I'm just going to chuck my arm in here. And I'm down to my elbow. What? That is crazy. So, as I say, the signal was so quiet that I could barely get a number. I took a scoop or two and then got a number. But that is just nuts. Okay. Let's safely put that in the bag and I'll just... Yep. <laughs> I'm going to take a moment to compose my thoughts here. And see if I can find any more. But I think I've already got like three, four silvers on the board. One of them is half a silver, but still. Wow. Okay, I hope this signals a coin, guys, because I want to show you what these sound like before I start digging them. I know you probably won't be able to hear in my headset, but I've got just the absolute faintest squeak. And this is showing... Uh, I was struggling to show anything, to be honest, but mid to high 80s. A couple of 90s in there. Let's see how deep this target is. Well, that one's not as old as what we've been finding, but nonetheless, it is very welcomed. That is actually a surprisingly shiny, almost looks freshly minted, doesn't it? Oh, not on that side. <laughs> one dollar coin. Okay, cool. Not what I expected at that depth, because again, that's uh, probably a good 11, 12 inch down. And obviously, just with the waves and tidal movement it's just managed to settle its way down there but I want more silver right <laughs> I'm getting greedy now now this is probably the faintest signal I've had guys you won't even see a number at this point point. and if I wasn't wearing a full cup over ear headphone I don't think I would have heard that one either gosh I can't even pinpoint this thing it's so tiny Let's just do a couple of scoops in that general area. Ourselves a few inches down and see if we might get a stronger signal. I like to do a few side by side so that I've got room to swing the coil fully. Really curious to see how far away this target is. Whoa! Hopefully I get it in time. Well, whatever it is, was in a clay layer. I dug super deep down there. You can't even see how deep I dug because it's under the side. So I'm hoping for something good. It's a coin. <laughs> no way, is that $2? Oh my goodness, there's no rhyme or reason to the depth of these targets. Finding modern things deeper than old silvers. Yeah. Anyhow, 
you know I'll certainly take it. Here's two bucks. Trust me on that one. <laughs> All right, time to get away from the water. I think I've gone and done it again, guys. I think I've gone and done it again. That's another rather deep hole. And this is the target here. I haven't had a proper look at it, but it's an interesting colour. One might say that's a rather silvery colour. <laughs> oh no, that is another frippens. Not that I can make out any detail, but again the size is a dead giveaway with these coins. <laughs> I'm lost for words. I've got absolutely nothing I can add to this conversation. But I reckon, yep, that's a coat of arms on that side. Again, not that you can tell. So that is one of our older 925 silver thrippences. George the fifth, I reckon, on the other side. I could be wrong. I will see if I can get a year. If there's still a year on this, it's going to be down in this corner here. And I got another silver, guys. This one was a 90. I can see it's a pendant, but the little loop is about to break off. It's very intricate, whatever it is. I'm not sure if it's religious or not. I think it might be. Oh, okay, no, that link's not about to break off. That's actually a extra little loop. There we go. Oh, what a cool find. I didn't record the digging, as deep as and fascinating as it is, the water is coming to within a foot of it, so I had to rush on this one. Spectacular guys. Probably my best day on the silver in some months. Nice. 86, 87, I don't think this one's as deep as the last several targets. I think this might just be a lucky goldie. Maybe it is further away than I thought. Oh, well, we're not far off now. I reckon next scoop will get it. Let's give that a shot. Yeah, there sure it is. 86, 87. Please be two dollars. Please don't be a sinker. Yep. <laughs> I'll take any sinkers today. Nothing's going to kill my good mood today. I'm having a wonderful day out. Well guys, that day didn't quite go as expected. I was thinking I was going to find more targets in the water than up on the sand. And look how that turned out. I was pulling out surprise silvers everywhere. You just never know what will happen on a day out metal detecting. I hope you enjoyed this adventure with me. If you did, please don't forget the like button. But in the meantime, take care. Stay safe and I'll catch you on my next adventure. Cheers. Guys, that day didn't... Oh, guys, that didn't...